guys, so today I thought I'd share with you how to make these um, rings. You can see this is what they look like from the back. They're adjustable and they have the animal print and then the rainbow glitter. Um, you can also do them in solid colors. This is what that looks like. I was watching YouTube um, recently and I saw on Biba Queen's um, tutor couple tutorials she was doing, she had a ring on and it was a blue ring with animal print on it and it was gorgeous. I don't know if she made the ring herself or if she purchased it that way, but either way, um, it inspired me to try to come up with something similar. So this is what I came up with and I wanted to share with you guys how I did that. So I'm just going to run through real quick the different things you're going to need for the tutorial. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some glitter mixes. I'm using um, these ones from Cuddlebum One. They're her Shagadelic line, I think she called it. Um, I got these in a swap. You're also going to need some clear acrylic. I'm using DVDC um, acrylic and monomer. You can use whichever brand you have. Um, if you don't have it, you can go to Walgreens, Walmart, um, Target and pick up like a kiss kit. Um, a little kit will be plenty to get it done. The other thing you're going to need is a brush, an acrylic brush. You're going to also need some stripers or polish or something that you can draw the design. Um, acrylic paint won't work for this because it will just rub off when you're putting on the um, glitter. And then the other thing you're going to need are some glass beads. So this is the brand I'm using. They're called Glass Drops and I purchased these at my local craft store. Michaels carries them, um, Hobby Lobby, all those places would have them, usually in the floral section. And what it is, is just a clear glass bead. They come in different sizes. I have one that's a lot larger than this one and then I have these teeny ones. Um, once you get the acrylic on them, like this one, and they don't have anything on the back, you can pretty much do anything with it. You could make it into a pendant, by putting a bail on um, or you could put magnets on it and have it on your fridge. The other thing which is what I chose to do is I use these ring backings and all it is is it's a flat piece here and then it's adjustable and I purchased these online. Um, I think it was a bag of like 25 for like a couple bucks. I know that you can also purchase these at um, Michaels or any place that has jewelry facets. So that's it for the tutorial. Um, the only other thing you're going to need is alcohol, which is optional, just to clean the glass so that everything adheres better, and a file to make everything smooth. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, go ahead and stay tuned. So the first thing you need to do is you need to turn over your bead. And if you look, one side's got a dome shape and the other side's kind of flat. You're going to take a file and you're just going to rough that up. And this is just to help the acrylic stick. Um, it would probably stick okay without doing this, but just in case I need roughing it up. And you don't really want to gouge it, but you just want to make little etches in the glass. And at that point, you're going to take your alcohol and a clean wipe. And you're just going to clean the surface of that so that you don't have any oils on there from your hands. So once you got that down, now you can put your actual design on. So for this one, I'm going to show you um, the leopard print. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do C's, dots, and then little shapes like this that kind of meet together. So once you're done with that, you're going to let your design dry completely. So I have this other one that I've already done and I did a zebra. So once you have your design done and it's dried, you can start applying your acrylic. All I have here is monomer and then I have my six glitter mixes. So I'm just going to prep my brush first. And what I did was I started in the center and because I'm using six colors, I just started applying it in the sections and I'm just going to start with the blue um, you can start with whatever you're using you don't have to use different colors you can use all one color if you like it's all up to you one thing to keep in mind as you're placing your balls you don't want to move them around too much because you will um, wipe off the design
And if it is bumpy, that's fine because at the end we're going to file it. And you can just gently scoot it in if you, it's too thick. The other trick you can do is as you're placing it, you can take out excess liquid from the back. And I wasn't trying to make my um, lines nice and neat. I'm letting them kind of go where they want. And just kind of scooting them in as I go, but not manipulating the acrylic too much as I go. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other colors. Um, I'm going to fast forward this part so that the video is not too long, but I'll do it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So at this point, when you have your acrylic on, what you're going to do is you want to kind of push in your sides. Um, we're going to file it so if there's any bumps, it's not such a big deal. But you want to flip over your piece now and you want to see if you're missing um, any glitter anywhere. And you're going to kind of fill it in. So as I'm looking at it, the blue looks a little thin right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then you would just do that to make sure that the back is full um, and there's no gaps anywhere. We are going to cover it with clear acrylic, so it's not too big of a deal if it's um, not even. But what you want to make sure is that the color is coming through as you, when you flip it over and you're looking at your design. So once you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and set that aside so it dries because it needs to be completely dry before we move on to the next step. So let me clear away this stuff and I'll be right back to show you guys the next step. All right, once you have your piece and it's completely dry, it's no longer tacky or warm, um, and it's had time to set, what you're going to do is you're gonna need a file. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by just filing the piece. And what you're doing is you wanna create um, you want to try to get it as flat as possible without affecting the design. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you round the sides. So going at an angle, you're just going to start filing in. And that's to make sure that there's nothing that's going to catch that might cause your design to pull up as you're wearing it. Once you have your sides completely done, you're going to go ahead and grab your alcohol again and clear away all the dust. So I'm just using a wipe here with alcohol on it and I'm just going to wipe that away. You're going to flip it over and just double check that everything looks okay, that you haven't filed away anything. Um, at this point, we're ready to attach our ring. So you're going to go ahead and grab one of those. You're going to need your clear acrylic for this. Um, you could at this point just glue it on. Um, at this point you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You could put a pendant um, bail on there and wear it as a pendant. You could also put magnet on the back and have it on your refrigerator. I'm going to use mine as a, as a ring. So go ahead and grab your brush again and your monomer and hopefully you can see that and then I have the ring here and we're going to attach the flat piece. Now you kind of need to decide if you want your stripes, you know, if you want it in an angle or whatever so that you pay attention to that when you place this. So the first ball you're going to put is just going to be to secure the ring. You're going to grab a small ball and you're going to take out any excess liquid and you're just going to place that right in the center. 
The next step is to grab your ring and you're just going to place that and you're going to hold it there until it kind of sticks. And you can pretty much tell that's happening and you want to make sure that you stay in the center and you're just going to kind of pat your sides so that you don't have any obvious bumps. And you're just going to hold that until it goes a little bit matte. As your ring starts to go matte, you're just going to grab some more acrylic. And you're going to start to build up around the base of the ring. And as you're going, you're going to make sure that you keep that flat and smooth so that it doesn't catch your skin. And you're just going to go all the way around. So. All I did was put a ball right here to secure that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'll move my thumb so hopefully you can see that better. And again, I'm just grabbing another ball of clear acrylic. I'm going to place that right there. And then I'm going to work it around back and forth. And then I'm going to flatten it. And I'm just going to work that out to the end of the color. On the sides right here, you need to make sure you don't go up too far. That way you can adjust the ring. You're just going to do the same thing. You're going to grab a ball of acrylic. Place that underneath and work it down. Keeping in mind that you want to keep this straight. As flat and level as you possibly can. And as smooth as you can so that it feels good on your skin because this is going to be the piece that's going to sit on your actual finger. And then again on the other side and just continue doing that. Once you have it completely sealed, what you can do is you can go back in with a file and clean up your edges one more time and file this area here. As you're doing that, um, you're just making sure that there's no any nothing that's going to scratch your skin, no scratchy edges, and you're basically done. Um, when you're finished with your piece, it should look like this. You can um, put something on the back to protect it if you feel the need, like a UV top coat would be fine. Um, I just left mine matte. It should be fine as long as I'm not putting it in water or anything. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you found this useful. And as always, thank you for watching.